Oh, what an adventure! <laughs> Get lost with Google Maps. <laughs> Good morning everybody, how are we all going today? Sorry about uh, this, uh, but it's covering my personal information there. But what we have here, and it's heavy, it's 21 kilos, this thing is a heavy duty, true off-road jockey wheel. Now, I'll lift the lid and give you a quick look. I'd like you to watch this short video I've got, which absolutely 100% convinced me to buy this item. And uh, then we'll do an install video and compare the one I have to this one. All right, but I'll just quickly lift the lid and give you a quick look inside. I'll be back in a second. Now this is not a paid product promotion or anything of the sort. This is just what I consider a great piece of kit. Um, it, it's, it's, yeah, they're not cheap, okay, for a jockey wheel, but as a true jockey wheel goes, uh, an off-road jockey wheel, it's marvelous. Um, I chucked in a couple of free lights uh, uh, with it, but I bought this off um, eBay. I didn't buy it off the store. But I actually went to the store and looked at it. I mean, this is just massive. It comes with two wheels that are ball bearing and they're steel, okay? They're not plastic. That is thick, heavy steel with ball bearings. Two of those, everything I need to fit it, and uh, yeah, she looks absolutely brilliant. All right, so watch this small part of the video now, please. And there's a link down below in the comments that I'll pin to the top uh, to the full video. These people make some awesome, totally awesome off road gear, absolutely love it. Okay, so we've pressure fitted the, the bearings in place, both sides. 
it comes with three washers okay fit one washer on the axle then put a wheel fit the other washer on the axle put a wheel push it through and then just as it comes through you put another washer on the axle oh, it's a bit tricky but get in there you push it all the way through and then you put your nylox lock nut, lock nut on it and I'll tighten that down later tighten it down uh, because it's got the washers you tighten it down till it's firm and it, there's none of that just pull them together and it's a it's what's called a trailing wheel you see the angle of it it doesn't come down and then there's a wheel trailing wheels are really good uh, because they actually steer a lot better than just a straight drop down wheel all right okay okay so there's the existing jockey wheel and you can actually see it's at the end of its thread it's all crooked it's all bent and that's what i meant about a wheel that goes straight down they are uh, yeah, they make pushing a trailer around very difficult. So we're going to take that one off, fit the new one, and what I'll do is I'll take a photo of this now, and then I'll just show you the two side by side at the end of the video. Okay. So you can see now, just to, I've got one of the stands down. I've got to stand up in there to hold everything, okay? Now that's a little bit lower than the trailer usually is, but anyway, you can see how the jockey wheel fits up there. Now this has got a five position pin, so you can put this jockey wheel anywhere so it's out of the way. And it just fits in there nice. That's, um, out of the way doesn't damage my ground clearance too much and you can just see how thick and heavy this is all right now the magnetic handle okay this is a magnetic handle you just put it in there very very easy to wind i don't know what sort of gearing they got in there that's brilliant Shame about the uh, sticker protector they had. It was already peeled off when it was in the box. And it uh, removed the... Um, label there. But it's an ARC off-road... Um, XO series 750. Which means... Um, yeah, it's, it goes really, really high. Now... Uh, you would have been just as impressed with the videos as I am and was it was a brilliant bit, bit of video that was absolutely brilliant all right I'm going to uh, put it in the down position now and wind it up and just show you um, how how good it is 750 is the weight 750 kilos you can put on this jockey wheel no no yeah that's that's its weight um if it's as overbuilt as it looks i would say they've been pretty um um i would say i, I would say 750 would be you know not the maximum but that would be the de desired maximum uh, for a four-wheel drive trailer when you're dragging it through sand and mud and all that with your winch 
all right anyway that's enough rattling on i'll put it in the down position and uh, then we'll have another look okay there it is in the down position you fold your handles out of the way uh, they'll go either way back against there and i mean you just wind it down i'll try and get that wheel around there like that Now we're lifting the trailer, it's still easy to wind. That's about, that looks level, and there is a lot of travel left in that. Um, I do have it down on the lowest pins, so even the height of it is fully adjustable just with that pin arm there. And you can see the holes down the bottom there that that little pin fits in okay um yeah i mean that solves this problem here uh, unfortunately the arc tow hitch won't work on my trailer because of the regulations in australia if you to the top of the tow ball we'll just do it roughly here if the top of your tow ball is higher than 50 um centimeters then you can't use a tow ball which is why they've used this uh, hitch now this hitch itself wouldn't be too bad except like I said in the last video this is a brake hitch whereas my trailer's got electric brakes and at the moment I've got a a um, cable tie on there that loosely holds this flap but that cable tie doesn't last very long and when you're going over corrugation rough ground this bounce up and you got bang 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 behind you and also these hitches here okay um, they're not the easiest to line up in our unlevel ground and the missus and I have got hot under the collar a few times hooking this up and in the end we 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 didn't unhook it unless we absolutely had to um, because it would just cause too much drama so I've got a new tow hitch coming that sorted all this problem out and um yeah i mean these are the last two things i had to do on this trailer with this jockey wheel and that is an absolute beast of a thing i totally totally love it if it's even half as good as what they say in the videos it's already way in front of in front of every other jockey wheel on the market because i looked at a lot of jockey wheels um a lot of jockey wheels all right hope you've enjoyed this video uh, remember the link below is to the full video of the clips I'm going to show you so you can just actually see how they tortured this poor thing. Alright, um, a marine would have broken long since before you'd break this thing, the amount of torture they put it through. And uh, yeah, it's just brilliant. Very well made, very well done. Congratulations Ark. Uh, you just did a damn good job. Absolutely brilliant. Keep safe. Bye for now.